Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. As you may or may not know, I love skincare so, so much and I always love it when I'm given the opportunity to try out new skincare from different brands that I've never tried out before. So today we're doing a review on skincare by the brand Be The Skin. This is a new brand that I've never tried out before, but the line seemed really cool and intriguing and actually kind of suitable for, I guess, like teenage skin. Although I'm not a teenager anymore, I thought it would still be good to give this skincare line a go because I actually do have some visible pores as everyone does. So I just thought we'll see what these products do to perhaps clean out my pores a bit better or just to see what effects they've got on my skin really. So just to do an overview on my skin type, at the moment I would say my skin is normal slash combination. So right after I wash it, it's got like a good amount of moisture, um, but it can be a bit dry sometimes, especially if I haven't been using like nourishing mask packs and things. But then towards the end of the day, it does get a bit greasy. So that's how I describe my skin right now. But previously my skin did have a bit of acne. I still do have a few spots here and there, but I would say my skin is about normal combination right now. The reason I really wanted to try out this line of products is because it promotes like a pore cleansing effect. So it gets rid of blackheads, whiteheads, spots, clean your pores out, and essentially just make sure there's no dirt left in your skin. As I do wear makeup myself quite a bit, I thought this would probably be good to really clean the makeup out of the pores, especially if my regular oil cleanser didn't get it all out. So I was sent these four products by Style Korean to try out and make a review for. So here are my thoughts. So naturally the first product I'm going to talk about is the cleansing foam. So this is how it looks. You get 150 mils, which I think is about the standard size you get in a face wash. All these products are super, super affordable, so they're definitely appropriate for a student budget as well. Okay, so I'm just going to read the description on the website. So it says, a cleansing foam that cleans dead skin cells every day without irritation and removes makeup residue and blackheads accumulated in pores with a rich foam. The green fruit ingredients protect the skin barrier by forming a natural protective barrier to keep it moist and comfortable even after washing your face. Okay, so this is actually something really important to me in a face wash because there's nothing that I don't like more than a face wash that leaves your face feeling so tight, dry and itchy and this product doesn't do that. When you use it, it foams a nice lava and then it just cleanses your face Gently, but I would say definitely efficiently because when I use this I can see like any traces of makeup coming off It sounds like you know the color of your foundation as it comes off and also you don't need to use a lot with this product at all Like even a small amount or lather up into a really rich foam So I would say this will last you a very very long time This face wash is actually different to I'd say any face wash I tried in the past purely because it's actually really thick. I would say in the past I've used gel washes, cleansers, and also foaming cleansers that come in like a watery tube, but this one has a texture similar to like a clay mask, perhaps a little bit thinner. So I thought this would actually be kind of good to use as a face mask as well. And I did try it on my nose to see if it would get rid of blackheads like it promises to. And I'd say it didn't get rid of all of them, definitely not, because I did still have a few left but I'd say my nose did look a lot shinier and a bit brighter than compared to before I use it. I also like how the packaging feels. It's got a matte velvet feeling, so it doesn't like slip out of your hands when you hold it, unlike the shiny tubes that you can often get. The website also says this cleanser is hypoallergenic, which is obviously very, very good because it means everyone can use it. Since using this product, I didn't notice a tight feeling and I also didn't notice my skin breaking out, which is always a good thing. Overall, I would say this is a good product if you want something that's gonna last you a long time and that doesn't leave your skin feeling tight or itchy. This also has a nice smell, which I assume is the Willow BHA agent in this. Um, but yeah, overall, I do like this product and I will continue using it. Next item I want to talk about is the toner. So this is how the toner look. I absolutely love it when toners come in clear bottles like this because it's so easy to just pour out into your palm and use. So I tried using this toner in different ways. So I think the most common way that Korean skincare toners are meant to be used is just poured into the palm of your hand, blend it in and then like pass it into the skin for absorption. But I also tried it on a cotton pad as well, the way that Western toners are typically used. and. 
I would say there's benefits of using it both ways. This is what I noticed. When I use it straight into my hand and then pat it into my face, I notice that there's better hydration and moisturization benefits from the product. But when I use it on a cotton pad, I notice that it's actually a lot better for removing dead skin cells and perhaps any leftover makeup that the cleanser didn't get to. So it says, a toner formulated with a high content, 85% of naturally derived willow BHA, which quickly calms irritated skin and absorbs it freshly and softly. So it says, mild toner suitable for daily use. And it says it deeply cleans the dead skin cells and waste in the deep pores. So I'd say overall, I do agree with what that says. Um, in regards to irritated skin, I can't really speak for that because my skin hasn't been irritated, I don't think, since I started using these products. But I guess if you've got a bit of redness in your skin, you could see if this does work. However, that being said, I do feel like it does calm the skin when you put it on. And when you pat it in, you can kind of feel your skin getting a little bit cooler, which I always think is nice. With toners, sometimes it can be difficult to see if they are making a difference in your skincare routine. But I honestly do think this one works because it does give your skin hydration and it also does make your skin smooth. So I would recommend this for you if you want a light airy toner. It's also very good because it's not sticky at all. It literally feels like water when you pour it in and when you tap it in as well. It doesn't have a sticky feeling at all and it's so 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 thin so it absorbs really 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 quick which I really do like about this toner. So if you're on the hunt for a toner that's very lightweight I think you'll really really like this. All of the products in this line have the same smell so I think the smell is quite refreshing so I think you will like it. Next item is this Pore Zero Serum. Okay I'm gonna be honest with you I'm not sure how I feel about this serum because I don't really feel like it made much difference to my skin. But apparently it's green because it's got naturally derived chlorophyll, which is a thing that makes plants green, um, hence why it's green. It is kind of like a milky texture, and if you can hear it, it is very, very thin. So this product is apparently supposed to provide smooth and clean fresh skin with zero sebum and pore care. Actually, I do have to say, since using this whole line, my oils have been much more controlled than they used to be, especially like overnight when I'm sleeping and then I wake up in the morning. My skin doesn't look as oily as it has looked with other products in the past. And I think that shows that this line actually does control the oils in your skin. But simply speaking with this serum, I would probably skip it. I don't know if I'd continue using this, since the review is finished, but I would say this one actually is probably good if you actually do have a lot of redness in your skin, since the green will counteract with it, so it would have less red and it would just like neutralize the whole color. I also have to say, since using this whole skincare line, when I put my makeup on, it looks a lot more natural and it doesn't like cake on the face, it seems to like all melt in and look more like skin. So I'm not sure if it's the combination of all the products or if it's just like one product in particular doing it, but I find that really, really useful because my makeup just matches my skin very well now. Overall, I would recommend this product for people who actually do have quite irritated skin or a bit of redness in their skin because this will probably help calm it down and soothe it a lot, but I just personally don't think it did much for my skin. Okay, and final product is this Dark Spot Zero Cream. This product is supposed to whiten the skin, but when it says whiten, it doesn't mean you know, bleach your skin so many shades whiter. It just basically means to brighten the skin tone overall and exfoliate parts of the skin that might be slightly darker. So if you've got like darker area, so for example, maybe like the chin area, it kind of evens it out. So I'd say this is good for hyperpigmentation, which is something I do have. So I do actually like this. I've been using this whole line for, I'd say about two weeks now. And from starting using it to now, um, obviously my skin hasn't got paper white because obviously that's not what this does. What this does, it just evens the skin tone out and makes it look more radiant and kind of shiny. It says this is supposed to be wrinkle improvement and whitening dual function cream that intensively cares for dark spots to prevent skin regeneration and partial spots and blemishes from taking place by removing the melanin pigment that accumulates due to aging along with dead skin cells. Because it does say whitening quite a bit, you might think to yourself, oh, 
is this going to leave a grey cast on my skin? But it actually doesn't. It's just like a normal cream. It blends in and looks totally natural on the skin. I would say out of the whole range, I found myself using this in very, very small amounts because you literally don't need a lot at all. And I think even the fact that this is a smaller tube shows that you don't need a lot of product. So I just applied this in areas where I did want a bit of brightening. So around my mouth area and a bit on the forehead. I didn't really apply it on the cheeks because they naturally are lighter than the rest of my face anyway. This moisturiser cream is also so 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 lightweight. It's so airy, you can't really feel it on your face. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey or clogged up at all. Yeah, I would recommend this product for you if you've got hyperpigmentation or a bit of acne scarring or maybe freckles um, if you just want them to be a bit lighter and kind of matched with the rest of your skin tone. I think you will like this. Okay, so now that we've talked about all the products, I would say overall this line is good if you've got acne, if you've got dry skin, if you've got oily skin, if you've got pigmentation. It's literally suitable for everyone because it's not specific for one particular type of skin. So I think that's really useful because pretty much anyone and everyone can use this line and benefit from it in some way. Although I wouldn't recommend buying all the products for different skin types, there are different products that work good for all the different skin types there are. So for example, this toner is very good for dry skin, this cream is good if you want to brighten certain parts of your face. This face wash is good if you've got dry skin as well. And this is pretty good for controlling redness and oils. So if you are interested in any of the products, I'll leave them all linked down in the description box down below. And that's pretty much it for this review. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And also hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos from me. And other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!